So we are at Heathrow Airport. Are you right there? <laughs> um, but we're having breakfast. What 12 pounds gets you? 16. You know yours is 16 pounds. I think mine was 12. Well, it came out wrong. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna eat this and then we've got like an hour until our until we board. Have a look at this knife. <laughs> You're not trusted with a proper knife. So we are just at our gate. The plane is literally in front of us. The plane is literally in front of us. And we're so excited. And yeah, we've had breakfast. It's eight o'clock now. It's rubbish. And our flight's at ten past nine. Food so is rubbish. Did actually try and vlog while we were having our breakfast, but the people on the table next to us were like having a breakdown <laughs> when I pulled out the camera, as if I was filming them, when obviously I was filming our breakfast, but anyway. And they got Bobby's eggs wrong, but it's all good. It's, it's not ruining our day. We're, having, we're excited. Look at that. Let's look at the mechanisms on there. What, the plane? It's quite cool. No, look, that little thing. What thing? Them things there. No, no. Look at that. That's clever. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's the small thing. we are so excited. Get me in the sunshine. Wait, there's people moving. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa and welcome to my channel. This is the Dubai vlog. Been so excited oh. for this trip for so long. No, I say that, that's a lie. We only booked it like... Eight weeks ago. About eight weeks ago, but yeah, I'm very excited. Basically, this is what Bobby got me for my birthday. So I'm very, very lucky and we're so excited. And we are at the airport now. But Bobby's just ignoring me, listening to music. Music's better than <laughs> listening to your voice. <laughs> but yeah, we are here for four nights. Yeah. Four nights. So yeah, just a nice little getaway. Neither of us have been to Dubai before, so we're very excited. So yeah. Enjoy. We have just landed and it is just after 8 p.m. in Dubai time. So yeah, very, very excited. We're gonna get our cases now. And then we've actually got a taxi. Um, I haven't explained yet, but we're actually staying, we're not actually staying in Dubai, like city itself. We're staying about an hour outside. So we've got private taxi to take us there. So we are gonna get our cases and then find our taxi guy, basically. So I thought that I'd give you a little room tour because we are now checked in. We have literally got so much space. So like you walk straight in and there's like this huge reception room. And then if you go this way, we've got a little like wardrobe space and a little bathroom in here. And then if you follow it around this way is the bedroom, which again is honestly like there's just, so much space and there's even this little dressing table so yeah i can't believe how much space there is and then there's a little shower um ensuite as well and we've actually got a kitchen in there it is quite outdated though not gonna lie it's not the fanciest kitchen we won't be using that but yeah i just can't believe how much space there is what are we gonna do with all this space do you want a dance battle? Yeah, we can if you want. <laughs> um, I'll try Some and show you. This right. is what we can see from our... Oh, all I can see is my reflection. I do not look good. <laughs> so we've just popped out so we can show you the outside of the hotel. But it's quite dark, so you can't actually really see that well. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it's stunning. Good morning everyone. It is our first day. We actually set an alarm for 7 a.m. but I think it's probably more like 8 a.m. now. <laughs> but yeah, I have actually put a bit of makeup on today because I just felt like I needed it. But the first bikini I've gone for this trip is this little one from Primark. This is actually the only new bikini I bought for this trip which is so unlike me, like normally I go a bit crazy and buy loads, but anyway, I think our plan is we're going to go 
for a walk, see everything in the daylight because last night when we got here it was obviously dark. Um, so yeah, and then we're gonna sunbathe. So today is gonna be the hottest day, so the plan is to literally just enjoy the sun, swim in the sea and the pool, and sunbathe basically. Morning, morning. We have to explore now. Bobby's just looking at the golf course opposite us. He's not going though. So as you can see, it is quite cloudy this morning, but it's supposed to go within the next few hours and it's actually going to be 30 degrees today, so absolutely boiling. But now that it is daylight, I can actually show you our hotel. It's so, so pretty. Um, but yeah, so we're staying about an hour drive away from Dubai. We're in a place called Alhamra. Um, I mean, to be honest, we're not that bothered about it because obviously we're not... We want to relax as well as enjoy Dubai. So like the plan for today, for example, is to just relax. Like the beach is literally just there. I'll show you in a minute. It's absolutely beautiful. We just want to sunbathe, relax, enjoy the hotel. Um, and then tomorrow, I think we're going to head into Dubai for the day. We'll just grab a taxi um, and do some sightseeing. But yeah, the plan for today is to just relax and chill and sunbathe when the sun comes out in a few hours. So yeah, it is only 8 a.m. So it's still very early, but it's very warm, that's for sure. But yeah, the pool is just round here and the beach is literally there, which I think is where we'll be all day. And this is the little, we've got a drink. So this is the beach, just walking across now. There's another pool here. Not gonna lie guys, it is kind of raining a little bit. <laughs> but I can definitely see blue skies. So fingers crossed, it's just gonna clear out the way and we'll have a gorgeous day. But yeah, there's just a little kind of beach bar here, but it's obviously not open Yeah, it's 8 a.m. <laughs> but the beach, oh my goodness, it's just gorgeous. It's very quiet still at 8 a.m. but again, Kind of hoping it stays like it because we're not we're not here to socialise, are we? <laughs> that makes it sound really bad. Yeah, then, you know the sun has literally come out and it is beautiful. How gorgeous is this beach? I could just happily stay here <laughs> the whole time. So we just grabbed a taxi that was about four pounds literally just 10 minutes away to the marina as you can see it's absolutely gorgeous um but yeah we've come here to get some lunch we are at the yacht club at a place called muse but they've got football there's literally no one here um but it's had a quite good um value for money we've just got like a set menu where we've got a style to drink and a main for like 18 pounds. So it's actually quite good here. We've both gone for a chicken burger, which looks unreal. And then we've got tacos and more fries, cause why not? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna eat this. We haven't actually eaten yet today, so gonna tuck in. <coughs> so considering this is supposed to be the one hottest day while we're here, it's gonna be windy the next two days. It is literally Unreal. Hello everyone. Long time no see, but also it hasn't been like a ridiculous amount of time. The last time I filmed, there was a thunderstorm. Um, it did end up clearing out the way and we had a lovely few hours of sunbathing this afternoon. Anyway, we went back to our hotel. Long story short, because our plan was tomorrow to go to the Dubai city, go to the mall and, you know, just do the typical kind of Dubai stuff. Bobby had like a spontaneous little thought to have a look if we can get like a fairly cheap hotel in Dubai tonight because it's like an hour taxi which isn't bad like we don't mind that but you know we were just having a little look anyway to see what there was 
Anyway, we found an absolute like bargain. The hotel we're staying at, I keep getting it wrong. It's the pla well, the crowd the tower. Oh. Hang on a second. I want to say this right. The Tower Plaza Hotel in Dubai. And we found it on booking.com booking and it was what? £140 yeah. for the night plus breakfast and the most insane room ever. So I just can't believe. And yeah, I just can't believe it. We're here now. I'm going to give you a room tour and show you around and then I'm going to get ready and we're going to go find somewhere to go out for dinner and then yeah oh my god i just can't get over how amazing this room is let me show you so as you come in to the right is the bathroom which is huge there is a massive bath toilet huge shower it's literally gorgeous we've got a little desk area we've got coffee station we've got a living area tv huge bed and then the best part, the absolute best part, look at the views. What floor are we on? 58? We're on the 58th floor. Look at the views. Ah! It's incredible. It's literally amazing. So I've just finished getting ready. I've had a really quick shower, hair wash, Put makeup on i'm wearing this little dress um it's not anything new and exciting i didn't really get any new cute outfits for Dubai, to be honest um other than some basics from primark but i'm gonna wear it with these little cute heels which from primark um and then i've got this little bag as well so that's the plan bobby is dressed up very very smart I think he's out dressed me to be honest but yeah we're gonna go get some dinner obviously we are quite last minute getting here we didn't get here and check in until gone 8 p.m we're both starving and I, we were rushing trying to find somewhere to get dinner um but we didn't know where so the plan is we are gonna grab a five minute uber to the dubai mall and find somewhere to eat there and then we can also obviously like have a look around the mall and that too. So yeah, we are pretty much ready and we are gonna leave now, grab a taxi and hopefully get somewhere nice to eat as soon as possible because I'm starving. This is our dinner view. We are at a restaurant called Tribes, which is in the Dubai Mall. And yeah, I mean, wow, I'm speechless. Look at the views here. The food looks really good as well. Bobby's got the biggest steak in the world. So we have just finished our dinner. I thought I would just quickly show you. This is the restaurant that we've just been to, Tribes. Would definitely recommend. Like the price was really quite reasonable. Um, considering the view of the fountains, it was incredible. Half of, Bobby had like the biggest. Half a kilogram of Wagyu steak. Yeah, the biggest steak ever. But yeah, it is actually, I can't believe how late we've eaten. We literally just ate at 10.30. It's now like gone 11. So I don't know what the plan is. I think we might just have a little wander around, but we are still planning on coming back here tomorrow in the daytime to have a proper look in the shops and stuff. So yeah, we'll see what we do. Um, yeah, but I had such a nice meal, didn't we? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. I can't believe we've technically actually only been here for like one day. Like we did so much yesterday. We didn't go to sleep until probably about 1 a.m. And we had such a like busy long day yesterday. So we slept in, woke up at about half nine, which is so unlike us. Um, but guys, look, literally imagine waking up to this view. It's incredible. Obviously we got here when it was pitch black, which was amazing to see all the lights, but it's so nice to see it now in the daytime as well. It's incredible. Anyway, we are, well, it's actually nearly 10 o'clock now 
and I think breakfast stops serving at 10.30 so we're going to quickly throw on some clothes, go down and get some breakfast and then we will come back. We actually have checkout at 12 which is really good, like I wish the UK would do that in their hotels as well. Um, so yeah, I think we'll come back and we'll still have time. We might even have a little bath because guys, let's see how amazing is this hotel room. So obviously there's the bed and it's got the view of that. There's two as well. Um, but also, this is through to the bathroom. I'm not going to show you because there's a big mirror and I'm actually naked right now. But there's a big bathtub here and look, the doors open out so you, you can be in the bath literally directly looking out onto that as well. How incredible is this? We've seriously made a mess considering we've been here for like not even 24 hours. But anyway, I'm going to throw on some clothes and we're going to go have some breakfast and I'll show you what we get, I guess. So we went down for breakfast and I had pancakes, which were lovely, and a coffee. Um, and then we came back to the room and we did have a lovely bath. Um, quite a quick one though, because I wanted to get out and get ready. So I'm now dressed, I've done my makeup. I've got this little crop top on and some trousers today um, because we are headed to the mall for today. So yeah, that is the plan. We are gonna do a little bit of shopping. Um, and yeah, and just see where the day takes us, I suppose. So it's half 11 now and we are just packing up our stuff. We're gonna check out and yeah, head to the mall. Just walking into the mall now. We just got the Metro here, which was really easy and we should have probably just done it last night instead of getting a taxi. <laughs> but yeah. It only cost a pound. It literally cost about a quid, yeah. But it was only two stops to be fair. But yeah, it's really windy today, but it's still such a gorgeous day. Stunning. Bobby's gonna take me on a wild shopping spree today. <laughs> no chance. Please. We are nearly here. We've been walking for like 10 minutes. Wow. Most incredible views here. Now inside the mall. Obviously we were here last night, but most of the shops were starting to close because it was like really, really late. Um, and I didn't film anything because we just went for dinner. But yeah, very, feeling very happy to be here. But yeah, I mean, we're gonna do a bit of shopping. We're not really planning on getting a lot we do need to get we have got a baby niece on the way and we're very excited and we I'm going to a baby shower on Saturday and we haven't got a present yet so I think we're gonna keep our eye out for a really cute little baby girl outfit for our niece so fingers crossed we can find something for her but yeah other than that we haven't got anything planned so, so we have we have we had a successful patches, haven't you? No. Well, yeah. So, um... I'm hurting. We actually went into River Island and Bobby ended up... One of the um, staff members in River Island literally turned into Bobby's personal stylist, basically. He was having a little browse at the suit stuff and the next thing you know, she's pulling this outfit together, making him try it on. And now he's bought it all, but... Good business from her to be Yeah. Fair. No, it's there really it nice. He's got a whole suit, top, Bell, shoes, literally everything. Full outfit. Whole shabam. Yeah. No, you look really good at this. It only costs 1.3k. <laughs> yes. But that's only like, what, 300 pounds? Dirhams. Yes. Anyway. So yeah, it's Ooh. been a success. Dajilo. Other than that, we've had a Starbucks as well. Um, we haven't managed to find a present for the baby yet though. So we need to do that now. And then, yeah, I think we're probably nearly done. We've been here a few hours now. Yeah, success so far. So we are now back in Alhamra at our original hotel. We, um, yeah, we had a nice time at the mall. Got a taxi back here. It is now like half four, but it is still beautiful sunshine and it's still really nice and warm. So we are literally going to head straight out there now and make the most of it. So yeah, we all changed, got a bikini on and we're gonna go and sunbathe and I'm looking forward to reading my book again. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for the kind of rest of the day, to be honest. It is a little bit windy, but as you can see, 
the sky is absolutely clear. It's about 27 degrees today, so perfect sunbathing weather. Oh, the sun feels so good. But yeah, we didn't end up, so I can't remember what I told you exactly, to be honest, but obviously Bobby bought a new suit, which is lovely. Um, and then we did actually find um, two little outfit sets for our baby niece. Um, we actually got them from H&M in the end. Um, but yeah, they're really, really cute. I'll have to show you when we're back at the room again. Um, so yeah, the shop was quite a success, really. It's really nice. The Dubai Mall is just so big, so nice. And now we're going to sunbathe. This is our hotel. Good evening. So, we chilled by the pool for a bit, but I'll be honest, it was a little bit windy. Um, but yeah, we, we headed back to the room, freshened up, got dressed, and we are now on a walk to find a restaurant. As you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, there's a golf course that is literally right next to our hotel, and there is it, what looks to be a nice restaurant at the golf course. Oh wow, look at the sunset in the background. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. We are just headed to check it out now and hopefully we can get some nice dinner there. So yeah, that's tonight's plan. So this is the, well, there's the golf course. It's lovely. And this is what appears to be the restaurant. They've got a little terrace area. So maybe we will sit up there for dinner, but I'm excited. It looks lovely. So I have got an Aperol spritz. Bobby's got coke as usual. But yeah, we were gonna sit outside, but it was quite windy and I was a little bit chilly. So we've come inside instead, but there's literally like no one here. And I ordered a pizza and they've just turned around and said, you know, pizza's bar and get one free tonight. So yeah, we're winning to be honest. What's an Aperol spritz? Aperol, not apple. Aperol. Aperol spritz. What does that mean? Aperol's type of alcohol. And then I think it's got some kind of like sparkling wine in it as well. What does it taste like? Do you want to try it? No thanks. <laughs> Bobby literally doesn't drink at all. Never has. Never will apparently. I actually can't deal how good that pizza looks. Bobby's got barbecue chicken. I've got pepperoni as you can see. Good morning everyone. So it is now Thursday. And we are headed out to have a lovely day of sunbathing. Got my bikini on. Um, yeah, it, it is supposed to be windy today. Again, like yesterday was so windy, I can't believe it. Um, but it's still gonna be sunshine and there's not many clouds out there. Um, and it's still gonna be really warm. So hopefully we should have a lovely day of sunbathing. We haven't even had a chance to swim in the sea or the pool yet because we just haven't had a good sunbathing session really that's been that hot other than the first day and then we both fell asleep for like two hours <laughs> so hopefully we'll get a chance to do some swimming as well today um but yeah we haven't got any plans so we're literally just gonna head down find a nice little spot to sunbathe and just enjoy the day because tomorrow we are headed home our flight is at 4 p.m so we will actually have a few hours in the morning before we leave, so I guess it just depends what the weather's like, whether we go for a walk or have a few hours in the sun. Um, but yeah, we'll see. But anyway, today, no plans, just gonna have a really nice chilled out day. Um, so yeah. This is today's setup. Absolutely scorching, it's like 11 o'clock now. And I'm boiling. It is a bit breezy as you can see in the trees, but it's honestly really nice and refreshing because it's so, so hot. Hello guys. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm totally picking this up several days later. Like, we got back from Dubai last Friday late at night and it is now Wednesday night and I pretty much realised that I abandoned the vlog so <laughs> I'm so sorry. I cannot even remember where I last filmed but we, Thursday, we literally just sunbathed and you know, sat by the pool all day, had a lovely time. We went back to the golf 
um, club for food and we went out for dinner. Oh, we got Nando's. We went, at, we actually realised that there was, so basically where we were staying was in Ras El Khaimah um, for most of the trip of them when we were in Dubai, obviously. Um, and yeah, there was a shopping mall there. So we went there as well for a few hours, which again, just didn't fancy vlogging apparently. Um, but anyway, I'm so sorry that I just kind of abandoned the vlog. Um, I think I just ended up kind of for the rest of the trip after kind of our few days in Dubai, we were just kind of just relaxing, enjoying the weather because the weather um, was really nice towards the end. It was like lovely and hot and beautiful sunshine. So yeah, we just kind of like enjoyed it and I was living in the moment a bit more, I guess. But anyway, if you have made it this far, please do make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I do apologize. I know I haven't been as active on YouTube recently. Um, I've definitely been slacking a bit, but yeah, I've just been super, super busy. But um, yeah, there'll be more videos to come, so I do apologise, but thank you for watching. Bye everyone!